so o is any point inside a rectangle a b c d all right so let us draw a rectangle a b c d a b c d this is a rectangle and o is any point it need not be on the diagonal side it can be anywhere so let us take it here so this is point o we need to prove ob okay so let us join this o with all the vertices all all right ob square ob square should be equal to od square plus oa square plus oc square now what we'll do here is we'll draw a line parallel to bc through point o and uh, let it be xy so this xy will be parallel to bc and it will be parallel to ad also because this is a rectangle right all right now ob square if you see carefully ob square in this triangle is hypotenuse right okay because this is 90 degrees okay so first tell me how many right angle triangles are there 1 this is 2 1 2 3 and 4 4 right angle triangles right 1 2 3 4 okay so we need to apply pythagoras theorem four times that was the trick right how many right angle triangles are there apply those many times pythagoras theorem right okay so let us first take this triangle again no harm in drawing the triangles again right o b x b o x so apply pythagoras theorem here this is 90 degrees so this will be hypotenuse o b o b square is equal to x o square x o square plus x b square this is x b square okay let this be equation 1 all right now we need od square here so let us take this right angle triangle and apply pythagoras theorem od y okay so this is od square is equal to oy square plus dy square let this be equation 2 we applied pythagoras theorem here y is 90 degrees right okay we need oa square here so let us take this triangle okay let us take this triangle mm, and apply pythagoras theorem oa x so apply pythagoras theorem here oa square will be equal to x o square x o square plus a x square this is a x square so this is equation 3 now we are left with this right angle triangle now right let us apply pythagoras theorem to that triangle also this is o c okay so this is 90 degrees right so o c square will be equal to o y square plus c y square all right so let this be equation 4 we have four equations now all right what do we need in lhsc ob square plus od square that means ob square and od square there is a plus sign right that means we should add this two equations equation 1 and equation 2 right so what is lhs it is ob square plus od square so let us add equation 1 and equation 2 so ob square plus od square will be equal to x o square plus x b square right x b square plus od square is o y square plus d y square okay and that should be equal to o a square plus o c square that means it should be equal to o a square plus o c square this part and this part right c if you observe carefully we got x o square x o square is done right this part is done okay and we got o y square this part is also done we need to get a x square and c y square in place of this two terms this two terms we need to get a x square and c y square okay let us see what we can do 
see in place of xb in place of xb can we write cy or yc yes because this will also be a rectangle right so opposite sides will be equal in rectangle okay so in place of xb let us write cy so this will be xo square plus in place of xb let us write cy so this is cy square plus oy square plus we need to get rid, rid of this also right dy square so what can we do in place of dy square we need to write ax square because a d y x will be a rectangle so opposite sides will be equal so dy will be equal to ax so in place of dy we are writing ax so it is ax square now right okay now if you see this carefully x o square o y square x o square o y square is there a x square and c y square a x square and c y square is also there let us rearrange these terms here o x square plus a x square plus o y square plus c y square i wrote the same thing again here but what is this part x o square plus a x square from equation to x o square plus a x square it is equal to o a square right so let us write o a square here plus what is o y square plus c y square from equation 4 o y square plus c y square is equal to o c square so this is o c square so hence we have o b square plus o d square is equal to o a square plus o c square 